Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Dashboard videos. This is the third in a series of five videos that will show you the basics of working with dashboards. This video will show you how to assign data sources to populate the widgets with system metrics. Having placed widgets on a dashboard, we can now associate them with data. You'll also notice that all of the widgets show icons that indicate no data sources have been assigned to them. These icons will change when data sources are assigned. To do this, we first have to create the data sources, and then assign them to our widgets. Open the Data Sources menu. Selecting the Data Sources icon displays the typical data sources available. Widgets can display data from alarms, other dashboards, system metric measurements or SLA or SLO compliance percentages. There are also advanced data sources available. To access these data sources, click on the blue box. The three advanced data source types are Probe, SQL, and QoS or Quality of Service. For our dashboard, we will create three QoS data sources. Open the QoS menu. Data sources already created will be listed in the menu, and as you can see, there are currently no data sources available. Click on the plus sign to add a data source. A data source creation window appears. More information about the data source types is available in the documentation and can be accessed by clicking the help icon. We'll create three data sources. One for CPU data, one for disk usage, and one for memory usage. First enter the name. CPU. Then choose the measurement from the pull-down menu, in this case, we'll choose CPU usage. Next choose the source, for our example we'll choose the computer name. Then the target system for the CPU data. Most often, you'll use the single setting, but the multi-setting is useful to preview data for a line chart, which tracks performance over time. Please note that you can test for only the latest value or for the values for the past hour, using the multi-setting. We'll select Test QoS, Single, to verify that the data source is working. The results indicate that the source is valid, so now we'll click Create, and we'll have our first data source. It now appears in the QoS drop-down menu. We've followed the same steps to create a data source for disk usage and it also appears in the QoS drop-down menu. Notice that the target for disk monitoring is the C drive. Follow the same steps to create the data source for memory usage. Notice that both the source and the target for memory monitoring is your computer. Also notice that we're selecting a multi-test. This is because we're also using the data for a line graph. Click Test QoS to see that the parameters are valid. When you see that the source is valid, click on the Create button. To assign the data sources, drag each source to the widgets created for them. Notice that, as you drag a data source onto a widget, the border of the widget turns green. This indicates that the widget supports this type of data source. Afterward, the icons inside of the widgets disappear. In this example, Notice that the border turns red as we try to drag the data source to the SQL table widget. This indicates that type of widget will not support a display of that type of data. Here's how the dashboard looks with all data sources successfully applied to the CPU, disk, and memory widgets. You'll be able to tell which widgets are still missing data sources indicated by the inside icon. A red box appears around a widget if it's been selected. We could also assign data sources to the lines. This could be useful, for example, if the dashboard depicted a network, and the lines represented devices linking network elements. By not applying a data source to the lines, the lines will only show as lines. Let's look at the dashboard in the live view. Doing this will replace the default properties of the widgets with real-time data. Expand the dashboard menu and select the live view. This is what our dashboard looks like with the live data. 
the alarms at the top tell us whether we have exceeded normal operating ranges. The metrics give us current CPU, disk, and memory usage over time. Notice a couple of things. The alarms are still the same color, from the edit to the live views. This could be because the usage is within normal operating ranges. But if the usage was out of range, the color still would not have changed, because we haven't defined display colors for warning and critical alarms. We'll do that in the next video, entitled, Set Widget Properties. Another thing to notice is that the line chart for memory usage only gives us limited data, because we've just created the metric, and very little data has been generated. We can display data for a different time period by changing the display parameters for the widget. Having created the dashboard, we'll now fine-tune the display so that the data displayed is more meaningful. The next video to view in this five-part series is, Set Widget Properties. You can also learn more about creating and using dashboards within UIM by registering for the course titled, CA Unified Infrastructure Management, Advanced Presentations.